Yeah, I want to use the Google Clock widget so that the Xiaomi. So that you can use. Possible? So that you can use the uh, uh, alarm functionality with Spotify. Yes. That's exactly. How did you know? Because I used to do that. I mean, my thing is, I just don't know if listening to songs about people doing drugs is the best music to wake up to. Well, you guys knew this day was coming. Today, I'm officially moving away from the Redmi K30 Pro, Poco F2 Pro, and I'm going to be bought. Buying. I bought this already. And I'm going to be using the Xiaomi Mi 10 as my daily driver from here on out. If this looks different, it's because right now I'm in the city of Bac Ninh, Vietnam. This is where I was and filmed a couple of videos ago about the Tronsmart Onyx Ace headphones, along with doing some other headphone videos, and I'll link to that up here. Okay, so before I forget, I just want to make something abundantly clear. Me switching away from the Poco F2 Pro Redmi K30 Pro is not an indication that it's like a bad device or a poor value device or I hate the device. Um, just the reality of that phone was twofold. One, I got it a week after it came out on the hope that I was going to have ROMs and I was going to have videos to make about the software experience. and. As you guys see, there's really no ROMs for it yet. And so I can only make so many videos about Gcam and about other stuff. And so that's why I'm moving on from it. The Xiaomi Mi 10 is better for video, at least for ultra wide video and then the regular camera. Ultra wide is the same as the K30 Pro, but I've got a video about that. Link up here. Okay, so Justin, what are we doing right now? Okay. Trying to set up a Xiaomi ID. Not going so well. One of the things that I definitely suggest everyone does, if you're gonna get a Xiaomi phone and you're a first time Xiaomi phone owner, you should try to set up your Xiaomi account first. So Justin, what's the first step for people that are trying to create their Xiaomi account? I recommend you first meditate, three deep breaths, exhaling slowly. And then? What do you mean? Well can, you, an email. well, can you tell us what happened when you tried to use uh, Google Chrome to create your Xiaomi account? I could literally not log in. It would not open the login page. And then what did you use? Microsoft Edge. And then? It opened up. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Great success. Damn, are you guys enjoying this video and you want to support me? Best way to do that is hit the subscribe button. If you guys want to interact with me, Twitter is an excellent place to do so. Also, check out my Telegram channel in the description down below. And if you guys want to put some money into my pocket, just use my affiliate links. Okay, back to the video. Really important. If you're going to sell your Xiaomi the phone, you need to go into your devices and then deregister. Come on, focus, focus. Focus, 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 focus. Focus. It's not focusing. There it goes. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, you need to go in and then you need to deregister the current device. We have the new version of MIUI 12 stable downloaded on the device already. But one suggestion that I have for everybody, before you go ahead, wipe the device, do all this, go ahead and transfer that copy of MIUI 12 to a laptop or to another source because downloading it can often take 15 to 20 minutes and having a backup just makes things easier if you have to wipe the device. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. But we're gonna go ahead and back this up to my friend's computer. Okay, so now that we have the device rebooted with MIUI Xiaomi EU Stable, um, we should insert the SIM card, activate the device, and get this process started. If you are coming from a non-Xiaomi phone, you can go ahead and copy some of that data over. Now, one thing that you can do is if you have an Android device nearby, you can actually just open the Google app. So Justin, let's go ahead, open up your Google Pixel, open the Google app on your device. Just oh, search Google. Are you going to be the old man and use buttons or gestures? I'm gesturing. I'm gesturing. 
skip the step to learn because I'll be the best teacher you've ever had. <laughs> Swipe up. So if you want to use the new control center, it's this little thing in the status bar. New control center, swipe from the right, settings, swipe from the left side. Oh, lovely. Is that what you want? That's lovely. That's great, isn't it? That is lovely. Now you can switch sides because let's say you're right-handed and you don't care about settings. Switch sides, boom, oh, notifications. That's lovely. This side. You know what? I like that so much. I might switch that on my personal phone. There you go. Because that makes so much more that sense. Makes more sense. Yeah. Tam, partner, you might be sad that this video is over, but don't worry. Go ahead and check out this video right here. It might be a camera comparison, or check out this video right here where I talk about headphones. Either way, I'll wait for you.